friend, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, today's topic is um, your aquarium is filthy. <laughs> I'm not saying that to pick on you, but you know, I cringe a little bit when I see aquariums that are very heavily, heavily decorated. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. You know, heavily, uh, enormous amounts of stacked rocks, uh, things that, um, that are difficult to move in and out. And um, because I know that as, as clean as we try and get our aquarium, uh, very often what sneaks in below those rocks uh, can be pretty, uh, pretty disgusting. Now I'm gonna show you um, an example right from my own aquarium. And uh, keep in mind, these aquariums are vacuumed, uh, are cleaned up pretty good every week uh, at least they get a very thorough vacuuming where where uh, detritus is is uh, vacuumed up from under decor from behind areas that are harder to access uh, it occurs every week so keep that in mind when I show you what I'm going to show you and it'll give you an idea of what's actually going on and um, when you realize uh, what that detritus can do to your to your water column and how it relates to things like um, uh, like disease, like the development of disease, things of that nature, you become a bit more concerned about uh, what's going on in there and uh, and how clean you want to keep it. So uh, let's take a look and uh, tell me what you think below. All right, thanks for tuning in. So I am uh, siphoning this tank you can see up here, I have the siphon in the tank. And when I do a water change, I go ahead and move some of the decor around. And it actually surprises me sometimes at what I find underneath. I mean, if you take a look at this, this is a plant that it has a flat, a pretty heavy flat bottom. And it's pushed into it's pushed into sand. And uh, for those of, you, those of you familiar with sand as a substrate, you know that um, it's probably one of the uh, ones that, it, that are least likely to have waste and detritus kind of work its way into it, which is one of the advantages of sand is that you can usually uh, not worry too much about uh, you know, waste getting down inside of it. But yet, let's see how it, it, it works with decor. If you look at this plant here, it's pushed into the sand. Let's lift it up slowly. Keeping in mind that this tank received a very thorough vacuuming. Oh, I'd say about maybe under a week. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's get a little, a little closer there. That, that area where the plant was in has a pretty good amount of waste in it. Take a look here. You can see it lifting up. Now how it manages to work its way in there is, uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe because of the water circulation or what it is that's going on. And this was vacuumed under a week ago. Now you can imagine a tank that has a lot of heavy decor that is allowed to sit there for a month or six months without vacuuming. Uh, how much of this builds up? And bacteria and other undesirable things build up on this. Now if I had let this go about two or three weeks, you would have been shocked what's under there. Here's a rock that's pretty solid pretty sol solidly pushed down into the substrate. And you're gonna see here, again, there's a fair amount of waste under here and how it got under there, I don't know. It somehow manages to worm its way in there and, uh, and then serve as a, as a nice bed for bacteria. Okay, so that's the tip. Uh, when you do your uh, water changes, use it as an opportunity to move your decor 
and to uh, clean in the areas that are normally not not that accessible or that you would normally not think uh, contain waste. I mean this piece back here what uh, Universal Rocks refers to as a as a heater hider something that designed to disguise or hide heaters. It is a wonderful place for waste. You can see back there and this was cleaned this was cleaned a week ago under a week ago, four or five, about four days ago. Look at that. Absolutely disgusting. These fish are out of control. But if you want good sized fish, you're gonna get good sized poops, okay? <laughs> you know that, right? So, and these fish are, do produce a tremendous amount of waste uh, every week. Give your tank a good vacuum. And please remove, uh, remove or move around the decor and catch all of that stuff. Some of these real long ones are from the Plecos. Plecos are notorious for, uh, you know, for laying those, uh, those 10 footers. Okay. There you have it. That's gross. So that's it. That's what's under the, uh, the decor in my aquarium. And uh, if, um, if you lift up some of the rocks in yours, some of the things that you think are pretty uh, pressed down pretty hard, you'll be shocked at what you'll find underneath there. It's amazing how that stuff creeps under there and, uh, and builds up. So uh, just something to keep in mind when you clean your tank, be sure to, uh, if not every week, at least every other week, lift things up, move them around and get under there and uh, give it a good cleaning because you don't want that stuff to build up it can uh, re it can uh, create a bit of uh, a bit of chaos uh, in the uh, in the actual chemistry of your water okay so thank you so much for tuning in i hope this helps that's got to feel better can you imagine having just a a pile of turds in the corner of your room how would you feel <laughs>